Alright, so here's a uh, follow-up on the paint stripping effort. I let it sit for 48 hours in the uh, clean green, LA's famous, simple green, whatever you want to call it. There are people out there that will swear by engine degreasers, like car engine degreasers. I don't have the names of those, but uh, I figure this stuff is designed to be thrown down the drain at least. It's not toxic probably relatively speaking since it is a household cleaner at least it should be able to go in back into the water system whereas I imagine that an auto degreaser or something more serious is going to be less forgiving on that sort of thing and possibly have special disposal requirements uh, so you can see here where it had 48 hours it got down just about to the bare plastic and where it had 24 hours it didn't quite get down to there but it did get down to my first base black and as you can see the LEDs were not affected by sitting in the drink for a while so I was happy about that I didn't really think they would be but you really never know about such things and the glue of course wasn't affected at all this is still a fairly sturdy piece here and uh, what else what else I think that's pretty much it this shouldn't be a problem any of the modeling here this is definitely pretty smooth I'm definitely gonna give it a sanding before I go to paint it again well I suppose I may as well include all that in this part of the uh, paint stripping video process so let's take a break and we'll take a look at that and in the meantime this is pretty much the result I was expecting so a lot of the extra paint buildup is gone and we're just about down to the base plastic again where is which is where it needs to be so let's take a look at it in a few more minutes so I just taped the LEDs off and gave it a quick light spray uh, you can see in here this is really nice and flat and shiny overall and I'm not too worried about the paint in this area at all simply because you're really not going to see it especially the ceiling where well, there is a little bit of shapes in there as far as where the paint was but up here is where it's most significant so over on the right here you can probably see the crenellated edges of where the paint was let's see if I can get the light angle just right here there we go so it's relatively smooth up top and then it just starts showing where the edges were and there's a little bit of something going on there on both sides like little little tiny bubbles and basically that is not going to be coverable at all so whereas up top here is really nice smooth plastic you can see down here where the paint remainder was and then over here on this side especially there's this huge chunk on this side of where the old paint is and a little chunk down here in the corner and I can see some sanding marks for where I did some sanding up on this side so it's not the texture of the initial plastic at all so what I'm probably going to do here is strip the rest of this paint off in this case rather than soaking the entire piece I'll just set it in a little bit of uh, paint stripper like this so it just gets the front I really don't want to do much more than that here but I definitely can't allow this to go as is it's just too sloppy a piece of work at this point so back to the paint stripper for this one and back to the model for me. Thanks for watching. See ya. So in a previous video I'm pretty sure I showed you LA's totally awesome famous brand uh, kitchen cleaner degreaser spot remover. Over here is the one I was trying to think of LA's totally awesome green clean which is basically a simple green uh, rip off. These are all over the dollar store, so these were a buck each for, what's that, 32 ounces. This bucket that I got at the uh, dollar store as well holds about two to three of these bottles. And uh, like I said, if you store this stuff, you don't have to throw it out. 
you don't have to put it down the drain you don't have to worry about that you can keep it and it will last for years so far I've been using some of this stuff for two years now this is a fresh clean batch but uh, I've got buckets under the kitchen sink that are at least two years old so I just put this in a few minutes ago and basically I'll check on this in maybe 12 hours sometimes if you put fresh paint down and then straight into the stripper that will bring everything off uh, we'll see about that and uh, I don't know if this will be the last video on this one I may just go straight to painting this piece once it's finally ready I may uh, wind up shooting a little more we'll see so there could be a part three to this video overall and uh, one thing I don't think I mentioned is that once this comes out of here wash it off with soap and probably a sponge get as much of this degreaser off as you can because I imagine if you leave some of it on the surface and you go to spray paint over that the chemicals will react and you'll get blotches again as the paint tries to drip off the surface but it's always better to be safe than sorry and just like in photography you'd use a stop bath to stop the processing which is just plain water in this case same thing give it a stop bath so the degreaser stops working on the enamel paint so that's it for this one thanks for watching see ya